Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. In this session, let's look at an example related to concurrent lines and look at the approaches how we can solve this problem. So it's a very simple problem. I have taken a simple problem just to make sure that we go through all the approaches and we have enough time to do that. Find the value of k if 6x minus 5y plus 7 equal to 0, 5x plus 6y minus 45 equal to 0 and 3x minus 2y plus k equal to 0 are concurrent. So it's already given to us that these three lines are concurrent. We have to find out the value of k. So what is the first method? There are three methods. The first method we know is find out the point of intersection of this and mm -hmm. that point should be passing through the third line, remaining line. Based on that I can find out the value of k. So what we are saying? Find out the point of intersection of these two lines, first and second ones. That point of intersection should be passing through, should be a point on the third line. That's the first method. Second method is where we have determinants. We have A1, B1, C1, determinant equal to 0, A1, we have B1, C1, A2, B2, C2 and A3, B3, C3. So you can substitute the values A1, B1, C1, A2, B2, C2, A3, B3, C3 and you know that the determinant should be equal to 0 so you can find out the value of lambda. So that's the second method. There is another method, the third method, what it says is three lines are said to be concurrent. Let us say the lines are L1, L2, L3 three lines L1, L2, L3 are said to be concurrent if we can find out constant values which are not equal to 0 such that lambda 1 plus lambda 1 into L1 plus lambda 2 into L2 plus lambda 3 into L3 equal to 0 where lambda 1 is not equal to lambda 2 is not equal to lambda 3 is not equal to 0 or can I say lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda 3 should not be equal to 0. If you are able to find out the values lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda 3 such that lambda 1 into L1 plus lambda 2 into L2 plus lambda 3 into L3 is 0 where lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda 3 are not equal to 0 then these three lines are said to be concurrent. So let's leverage that and try to solve by that method because the first and second methods we are already aware. First we'll look into the first method and find out. This method I want you to try it out. I'll just give you A1, B1, C1 that is 6 minus 5, 7, 5, 6, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, I think you can easily find out the determinant of this. Equate it to 0, find out the value. You should get k equal to 1. We will also do it by first method, then we will go to the third method. If we go by the first method, what we will do first? We have to solve these two equations. So 6x minus 5y plus 7 and 5x plus 6y minus 45. I want to cancel y's. So I will multiply with 6 into first equation that's nothing but equal to 6 into 6 36x 6 into 5y 30y plus 7 6 into 7 42 equal to 0 I have just multiplied L1 with 6 then I am going to multiply 5 into L2 5 into L2 will give me 5 into 5 25x 5 into 6 30y 5 into minus 45 that is nothing but 225 let's simplify this so I'll just add them I will get 61x minus 183 equal to 0 that will give me x equal to 3 if x equal to 3, if I substitute 5 into 3 plus 6y minus 45 equal to 0, 
five x plus six y minus forty five equal to zero. So that gives me six y minus thirty equal to zero, which gives me y equal to five. So the point of intersection of L one and L two is nothing but three comma five. So we got the point of intersection. So what we will do now? We'll substitute this in the third line because the point of concurrency, all the three lines should pass through that. So 3x minus 2y plus k equal to zero should pass through 3 comma 5. We know that because it's point of concurrency. So let's substitute that. I will have 3 into 3 minus 5 into 2 plus k equal to zero. That's nothing but 9 minus 10 plus k equal to zero. That will give me k equal to 1. So the value of k should be 1. If the value of k is equal to 1, then all the three lines are concurrent. So we we this is first method and this is second method. Now let's look at look into the third method and how to solve it. So the third method is we will say there are so when these three lines are concurrent there exists lambda one lambda two lambda three values each of them not equal to zero such that lambda one into l one plus lambda two into l two plus lambda three into l three equal to zero. So I will just substitute that. I will say lambda one into six x minus five y plus seven plus lambda two into five x plus six y minus forty five plus lambda three into three x minus two y plus k equal to zero. This method. may seem a little bit inappropriate for this example but i want you to understand this approach also exists and it's very useful in some cases okay so now what we are going to do is on the right hand side we don't have x y and constant values so we can equate the coefficients to zero because lhs is equal to rhs so we will write it as first we will take x out or i will have 6 lambda 1 x into 6 lambda 1 5x into lambda 2 so can i say 5 lambda 2 plus 3 into lambda 3 this is equal to 0 6 lambda 1 plus 5 lambda 2 5 lambda 2 3 lambda 3 equal to 0 similarly let us go for y when i take when i take y i will have minus 5 lambda 1 plus 6 lambda 2 minus 2 lambda 3 equal to 0 now what is left out is constants 7 into lambda 1 minus 45 lambda 2 plus k into lambda 3 equal to 0 so we have lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda 3 we have three variables and we also have to find out the value of k what we will do is since on the right side we have equal to 0 so let us try to reduce this to equation in two variables by which i can find out the relation between lambda 1 and lambda 2 and i can also find out the relation between lambda 1 lambda 2 and lambda 3 then i will come back and substitute in the third equation so that i can find out the value of k so for that what i will do i will solve these two equations i will multiply i will multiply the first equation with 2 so that i can cancel out lambda 3 i will have Into two, twelve lambda one plus ten lambda two plus six lambda three equal to zero. Multiply this with three. 
I will have minus 15 lambda 1 plus 18 lambda 2 minus 6 lambda 3 equal to 0. Now, if you add these two, you will have minus 3 lambda 1 plus 28 lambda 2 equal to 0. So, that is the relation between lambda 2 and lambda 1. Now, I can go back and substitute this and get a relation between lambda 1 and lambda 3 too. How I can do that? Or lambda 2 and lambda 3. I will go back here. So, this gives me 3 lambda 1 equal to 28 lambda 2. This value I am going to use. This I am going to use now in this equation. I am going to use in this equation, I will say 6 lambda 1 is nothing but 2 into 3 lambda 1 that is 2 into 28 lambda 2 plus 5 lambda 2 plus 3 lambda 3 equal to 0. That is nothing but 61 lambda 2, 2 into 28, 56 plus 5, 61 lambda 2 plus 3 lambda 3 equal to 0. Now, we have relation between lambda 1, lambda 2 and lambda 2, lambda 3. So, now we can go back to the third equation. By taking, we have to take some values of lambda 2 or lambda 1 so that we can go ahead. What I will do? I will take lambda 2 equal to 1. If lambda 2 equal to 1, then lambda 2 equal to 1, then lambda 1 is equal to 28 by 3 and lambda 3 is equal to minus 61. 3 lambda 3 equal to minus 61. So, lambda 3 equal to minus 61 by 3. I hope you are following me. We got relation between lambda 1, lambda 2 and lambda 2, lambda 3. Now, I am taking lambda 2 value, some value. I have taken 1. If that is 1, then these are the values I have for lambda 1 and lambda 3. Now, this should be satisfied by the third equation. So, I will go back and say 7 into lambda 1, that is 28 by 3 minus 45 into lambda 2 that is equal to 1 plus k into lambda 3 that is minus 61 by 3 equal to 0. Now, let us multiply throughout with 3 so that I can take care of the fraction part. I will have 7 into 28 196. I multiplied by 3 so 3 will go away minus 135 minus 3, 3 will cancel, I will have 61k. That will give me 61k equal to 61 or k equal to 1. So, we can solve this problem using three approaches whenever we have to do condition of concurrency. We can solve them using three methods. The first method is finding the point of intersection and substituting that in the third line. Second method is using the determinant form and finding the determinant equating it to 0. Check whether the determinant is equal to 0 or you have to find a value, equate the determinant to 0 and find the value. The third method is if three lines are concurrent, then there exists constant values lambda 1, lambda 2, lambda 3 such that lambda 1 into L1 plus lambda 2 into L2 plus lambda 3 L3 equal to 0. We can leverage that and we can find out the value of k. This may not look a little bit easy for the first time, but if you try to do problems like prove that medians of triangles are congruent, prove that altitudes of a triangle are congruent, try to do those problems, this approach will help you or the determinant problem approach will help you, but not the one where you have to find out the point of intersection because that will be very cumbersome. It will be very lengthy and it will take lot of time to find out the point of intersection. So, we either go by determinant method or we go by lambda 1 L1 plus lambda 2 L2 plus lambda 3 L3 equal to 0. So, you can try it out. How to prove that altitudes of a triangle are congruent or how to prove that medians of a triangle are 
congruent do okay. please let me know these are the three methods how you can prove that three lines are congruent one finding the point of intersection of two lines substituting in the third line second using the determinant method where you have a1 b1 c1 a2 b2 c2 a3 b3 c3 are the elements of the determinant nothing but the coefficient coefficients of the straight lines next we have third approach where we say lambda 1 into l1 plus lambda 2 into l2 plus lambda 3 equal into l3 equal to 0 now substitute the substitute the lines and find the values of lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda 3 if you are unable to find them that means the only solution exists is each value equal to 0 lambda 1 equal to lambda 2 equal to lambda 3 equal to 0 okay. then these three lines are not concurrent if you are able to find out lambda 1 lambda 2 mm -hmm. lambda 3 values which are not equal to 0 then they are then they are concurrent so see you in the next session thanks for your time bye for now see you again